So we'll take like uh, two problems now. The first one is I got it from the Math Stack Exchange, and it says uh, show that given a regular hexagon of side two units and twenty five points inside it, there are at least two points among them which are at most one unit distance apart. So at least two points, and at most one unit distance apart. Okay, so this question. Here is the stack exchange equivalent of this. It says a given hexagon of side two, two means like I guess like they are talking about side two units, and twenty five points on side in. So there is a, a clue that he was trying, and uh, there are some of the other answers too. They have given some clues. So based on that, we can solve this problem using the pigeonhole principle. So I believe, like, uh, if you are not seen it, the know about the pigeonhole principle, you can Google it. But here's an analogy. So let's take a square, okay? Right. So A, B, C, D is the square, and then we have the midpoints E, F, G, H. So now you got like this. Not imagine these are like you know four pigeonholes, and you have five pigeons to be placed. So one of these pigeonholes will have. At least two pigeons, right? That's what the pigeonhole principle means. So if you have n holes and n plus one pigeons, then one of those holes will have at least two pigeons. So something like along that lines. So the maximum distance between these two pigeons, assuming they are like just points, like you know. So if I play, I can place them either at H and E or A and this center because the maximum distance will be along the hypotenuse, which is root two. In this case, so this is a this is like you know just a quick way to explain the pigeonhole principle application in this context. So our context talks about a hexagon of side two and twenty five points inside it, right? So if there are twenty five points, right? So in, in order for me to have like you know some similar kind of a geometry, right? So I should consider for like you know something like twenty four shapes of equal sizes that I can build with. Right, so here is the hexagon, right? And uh, I have taken like you know the G H I J K L as the midpoints of the hexagon. So with this this uh, this kind of a geometry, right? I get one two three four five and one two three four five six seven. So five triangles in the top line and. Seven triangles in the bottom line, giving me twelve triangles, and similar because of symmetry, there will be twelve over here too. So giving me twenty-four triangles. So now this question now can be read as side side of two units of hexagon with twenty-four triangles. Uh, so we need to place now like you know twenty-five pigeons over here, right? Instead of calling this as points, we can say that there are pigeons. So two of the pigeons are going to be in one of the triangles minimum, right? So the maximum distance is going to be along the side length. Over here, the maximum distance was along the hypotenuse, but when it comes to this equilateral triangle, the max distance has to be along the side length. And given the side of the hexagon is two, and uh, this is the midpoint, and similarly this is the midpoint, so this side is one unit, and that's how we can prove it. So this geometry is what we need to build. Basically, that's what the question is about. Okay, let's take the second question. It says, is it possible to find hundred lines in a plane having exactly nineteen ninety eight intersection point, right? And this came in nineteen ninety eight Bulgarian Math Olympiad. So for this, let me just take like this two red parallel lines, okay, and then like this three blue lines which are concurrent at point M, and one orange color line. Which is neither parallel to this two red, nor is it concurrent with this three blues. So as you can see, ignore this orange line for now. Now you see, like you know, when these two parallel lines, when it interacts with, uh, when it intersects with these three blue lines, so we get like you know, three into two, six points, right? One, two, three, four, five, six points of intersection, right? Plus one, seven. Right, and now when this yellow line comes into picture, it intersects each of this line without passing through any of these intersection points. 
right so that will give me additional five intersection points because there are five lines right three blue and two red so we have one two three four and five intersection points for this right so this is like for six lines i have done so with the similar analogy because there are no other restrictions i can consider 73 parallel and 26 concurrent lines which will give me 18 98 plus 1 remember why this plus 1 because this point of intersection of all the concurrent lines also we have to consider right so that's how it gives me 18 99 points so 73 plus 26 gives me 99 so it's basically not not exactly a geometry problem but it's actually a number theory problem right so now i have the one line that is pending because 99 lines are already consumed one line which is equivalent to my analogy wise equivalent to this yellow line which when intersects with the 99 lines will give me 99 so 1898 plus 99 will give me 18 1998 so this is like fairly straightforward look at quora in quora there is another problem can there exist 100 lines in the plane no three concurrent there is an added restriction over here such that they have exactly 2002 points right so our case we had no restrictions but over here they had a restriction which essentially boils to down, down to the problem of like you know finding out this like you know uh, okay so there's an example that they have given like you know uh, three parallel lines and then another set of two parallel lines and one similar yellow line so the number of points are like you know 3 into 2 plus 3 into 1 plus 2 into j so basically like you know the number of lines the the cyclic product of like you know the the set of this line so 3 into 2 2 into 1 and the plus 3 into 1 so the 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 sum of this right so that is what it boils down to which in effect will be like boiled down to the you know the sum of the total number of lines square which is 100 in this case minus 2 times the number of points of intersection is is actually what we have to find is the squares of this okay so basically in this case it is 3 square plus 2 square plus 1 square something like that right so 5996 so in this case he has found out the answer is 76 14 4 2 1 1 1 so 76 parallel lines then another 14 pairs of parallel lines then another four pairs of parallel lines then another two pairs of parallel lines and then one 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 line okay each so this kind of a combination will give him this 5996 uh, which is actually like you know the sums of squares of that okay like you know so that's what it is okay right so based on this i have found out the possibility for us for our case in which case we have 1998 so we need this total to be 6004 right so 100 uh, 100 square minus 2 into 1998 is 6004 so i took this possibility based on his answer i just modified this in this excel sheet so 79 77 square is this so sum of this is 100 and sum of this is 6004 so this is one set of combination that i could get second set is 76 14 5 2 1 1 so there could be multiple combinations i have not really figured it out but this can be done only with brute force so if 